Okay then, so there has been yet another issue, problem, scandal, recall having to do with sunscreens. And this has certainly been the year for this to happen. I just don't understand why sunscreens are such an issue and companies cannot get it together. But we did have another recall. This time it was Johnson & Johnson who recalled five of their aerosol chemical sunscreens. And then CVS yesterday pulled a couple of products off their shelves. Now the Johnson & Johnson issue has to do with the chemical benzene, which can cause cancer. So I'm going to give you guys a short video today to cut through all of this, tell you what the problem is, what the products are, and what you should do about it in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wish I was talking about something else. Really so sick of having to talk about sunscreens. And you guys that follow the channel know I am not one of those YouTubers that jumps on a scandal, does a video the same day, because these things tend to evolve and there are usually some facts that come out. So I don't like to jump to conclusions, but this situation, because it's benzene, is a big issue and is confusing. And again, it is evolving. Just yesterday, as I said in the introduction to the video, CVS pulled a couple of products. I'm gonna explain all that to you in just a minute. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert, and I'm here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and for sure today, not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for on YouTube, please be sure and subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my videos when they come out each week. Okay, so this sunscreen recall has to do with Johnson & Johnson and five other aerosol sprays. So it's not the creams, it's not the lotions, it's not the zinc sunscreens that I recommend all the time on the channel. It's five aerosol sprays, but they're very popular. And even though I, you guys know I don't like chemical sunscreens and I tend to like push the mineral stuff on you really hard and heavy, here's yet one more reason why. Um, these are popular products and I know some of you may have them in your home or may be using them and and it can be worrisome especially when the media gets hold of something and makes such a big deal about it so i wanted to get right to it and talk about this issue this is not going to be a long video today um my regular content will resume next week all right so the crux of this is that johnson and johnson issued a voluntary recall five aerosol sunscreens that had been tested by an independent pharmacy online pharmacy called valisher and they found benzene in those products. Now, the thing with the Johnson & Johnson issue is that they don't have that as an ingredient, benzene, in any of their formulations. So of course they're investigating to find out why that's in there. The CVS issue, we don't know exactly why they pulled those two products, but they were on the Valisher list for benzene and they really haven't said anything other than they are pulling those two products and not selling them anymore out of an abundance of caution. So go CVS and go Valisher for being an independent cop in this whole sunscreen fiasco. That's another fiasco on sunscreen. It just makes people worry and not trust products. It's just, it's bad. But anyway, moving along. The issue with benzene as a chemical is that in high enough exposure, it can cause cancer. So it's carcinogen. Now in lower exposures, it doesn't cause as many problems. However, there are people that are very sensitive to it. So any exposure sometimes can lead to lightheadedness, dizziness, increased heart rate, a feeling of illness. So if you have those products in your house and you've been using them and you've had those symptoms, then obviously you want to go and talk to a doctor. Now, personally, what I'm going to tell you is if you have those products in your house, do not throw them out, just put them away and don't use them because if something were to come about for you personally and you needed to prove that you were using the product, you need to have it on hand, obviously. So don't throw them away, put them somewhere safe and put tape over them or whatever you need to do so no one in your family uses them. Now, the other thing to note about the benzene issue with Johnson & Johnson sprays is that the amounts that they are saying are in there are so low, they shouldn't cause you health problems, but again, if you've had some issues and you want to talk to your doctor, that's probably a good thing just to put concerns aside. Now, if you're interested in getting a refund on the products from Johnson & Johnson, they do have a phone number for that, which I will put down below in the video description box, along with this list of all of their products. And I will also put the CVS products in the same list, and I will give you guys some Chris approved 
options for sunscreens that I talk about on the channel all the time. So which aerosol sunscreen sprays are involved? Well, on the Johnson & Johnson side, they are Neutrogena Cool Dry Sport, Neutrogena Beach Defense, Neutrogena Invisible Dry, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer, and then Aveeno Protect and Refresh. So again, all of those are aerosol sprays, chemically-based sunscreens, so that's that list. On the CVS side, it's a couple of products only right now, and that is their CVS Health Brands After Sun Aloe, and then their Aloe Spray. So CVS has pulled those two products, so they won't be selling them right now as everybody tries to figure this out. Now, again, these things tend to evolve over time, so there may be more products that you need to be on the lookout for, but I wanted to jump in today, even though this steals time away from my regular content for you guys, and talk to you about it because it is concerning, especially since I push sunscreen on you all so much. So that's what I know so far as of today when I'm filming this, things will evolve. Again, keep your eyes and ears open on this particular issue to make sure there aren't more products involved. And I hope this video was helpful today in sort of straightening this all out, at least for now. If it was helpful, please be sure and give the video a like, share it out so other people know, and comment below and let me know what your favorite sunscreen is because I might actually do a review on that. I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. You know how much I appreciate it. Stay beautiful. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.